Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Beam, which I haven't covered in quite a long time. Um, I used to cover this quite a lot. I, I think back like like in December, I covered it a lot. And also when we when we turned bullish again in February, I uh, covered it a lot back then as well. But right now, I, I think I, like for months, I, I haven't really covered it. But I did want to make a video this morning. Uh, because I think that Beam looks quite bullish uh, right here. All right, so we'll talk about that. I think in general we have a we have a good chance at reversing here. So obviously Beam has been bearish for quite some time, basically after this top, the 10th of March, um, until this bottom at 2.1 cents, we've mostly been bearish with some bullish moves in between, of course. Uh, but right now, for for the first time, and I do think we need some more confirmation for that. But for the first time in months. Um, I think we can actually get some more bullish momentum that sustains, all right? So basically an uptrend. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, so let's get right into it. I'm not sure where to start. I mean, I, I think the best the, the best place to start is, is just the technicals, all right? So if you look at the technical situation for Beam right now, what we had is that on Monday, obviously, last week Monday, we, we received that positive news about the Ethereum ETF which in turn had a positive effect on the entire market. But what that meant for Beam is a breakout above this trend line, which was the main trend line. And in general, that was kind of the trend uh, pushing the price down, uh, respected, strong on the daily time frame, broke above that. But most importantly, I would say is that, I mean, a trend line, it, it, it's just a line, all right? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But what I think is more important is that right now we've actually managed to break above the EMAs right here, which we've done that before. And that's why I'm, I'm telling you, we do need some more confirmation. Um, but we broke above the EMAs and we broke above a significant, uh, significant key level right here, around 2.7 cents. So we broke above all, all, all of those levels. And so far, and you can also see that on the four hour time frame, so far we've been holding those breakouts mainly all right i mean we came close to breaking down below it uh, after the etf was approved on the, on thursday but so far as you can see after also getting some some bullish momentum yesterday morning we're bullish so now the main question is i would say is all right well is the market strong enough and is beam strong enough to actually keep up this bullish momentum and to rally up higher and that's a good question all right which i don't necessarily have the answer to uh, if you look at Beam, and then like like uh, last week Monday, we gained a lot of momentum. And what you can see right now, and that I think is very bullish, is that we have also received some big buy orders, both yesterday morning and this morning. Um, as you can see, we, we got some big spikes in open interest, which also there's a good chance that it sells off um, over the course of today. But those buy orders are a good sign, I think. Then in combination with the technicals, for me, and a general expectation of more bullish momentum in the markets, um, that's enough for me to, to at least think it's most likely that we will actually keep up this bullish momentum. All right, so that will have some sort of a pullback into this main support level between 2.8 and that level we broke above at 2.7. Uh, but ultimately, I, I think we'll, we'll bounce against that level between 3 and 3.2, uh, 3.1 cents. And I think we'll eventually be able to break above that, get to 3.4, and with that, really start an uptrend. Now, how long that uptrend takes and how strong it is, I don't know. We'll see. All right. But at this moment, I do think this is most likely. And the only thing I think you need to be worried about um, is, is volatility. All right. So Bitcoin right now, volume is quite low. If, if Bitcoin starts to spike down and it does not recover, um, because I do expect some sort of a spike down, but I also expect it to recover, uh, which makes something like this possible. If Bitcoin spikes down to, for example, 68,000 and it does not recover and we turn relatively bearish, then it's uh, it, it becomes more and more likely that maybe Beam will not turn, turn bullish, right? Um, but I will keep you updated on that. In general, just keep an eye on my Bitcoin videos because a, a bearish Bitcoin is, I think, the only way Beam can um, can turn bearish from here on out. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.